April the 5th, 1975, a day on which millions felt that history was to be made, with Red Rum seeking his third successive Grand National. Tremendous support in the last couple of days for the horse who's almost as regular a tender here now as Red Rum, in fact, even more so, because this is his fourth Grand National, Lescargo, the Irish challenger. He was knocked over in his first National. He was third two years ago. He was second last year. The stage was set. Now it was up to fate. And back again to Brown Fletcher and Red Rum, heading the exit of the 31 horses for the 1975 National. Behind him, Tommy Carberry, 33 years old, on his 11th National partner, Les Gargo. The starter preparing to mount his rostrum, in fact, going up and up. Feel free has his back to the tapes. When he turns, they'll just about all be facing the tape. And uh, they've gone, spinning image, uh, just a little bit slow. Southern Quest a little bit slow. And as they race down towards the Melling Road, Junior Partner is one of the first to show. And it's Simulator and Junior Partner as they come to the first. And we join John Hanman. Simulator in the lead with Feel Free in second place. Danford Brink close up on the inside. So too is Lascargo, so is Junior Partner. One of the back markers, Rough Silk, jumped it slowly. Rattray jumped it slowly. The fauna was Chain Man, the only four at the first, but his rider is up very quickly and Simulator leads over the second from Glenn for Brig and Junior Partner is down, badly interfered with Glenn Owen. But as they go to the force, it's Simulator from Field Free, Glenn for Brig and over to Julian Wilson. And Simulator's down on that one, and that leaves, and, and also down is Rough House, Rough House is on the floor. Another faller at that one I can't see, but as they come to the next, it's Field Free from Glenn for Brig towards the inside, and these two are clear, that's the fifth fence and they're over it, Field Free. From Blanford Brig, then Lescargo. On the outside of Lescargo is the Dickler going very strong. Red Rum's about in the centre of the field. Right at the back is Rough House and Castle Ruddery refused there as they run down to Beaches. The two leaders at Beaches are Feel Free and Blanford Brig. Those two clear over it and they both cleared it from the Dickler. After the Dickler and Spitnevich is a faller at that one and as they run down to the next. The two leaders are Glan for Brig, who jumps it clear from Peel Free, and third place is the, the Dickler, in fourth place is Bo Bob. Lescargo made a mistake in fifth place, in sixth is Glen Owen, in seventh is Southern Quest, then comes High Ken of Money Market, after that comes Tudor View, and Royal Relief is a follower at that last one. Spanish Steps is still with the field as they come to the canal turn, and over it, it was Glan for Brig from Peel Free. Bo Bob jumps it in third, the Dickler is fourth, High Ken is fifth, Southern Quest is sixth, Lescargo is seventh, eighth is Money Market, then comes Tudor View and Glen Owen. Mally Richard again was a bowler at that one as Glanford Brick jumps Valentine's in the lead and all the leaders are over Valentine's. Yes, Glanford Brig blazing the trail and at a cracking pace too. Then a little gap to High Ken who's going well with the Dickler just in behind him and then Lescargo, then Manicou Bay. Behind Manicou Bay is Tudor View. Behind Tudor View is Money Market on the inside of Kilmore Boy and then comes Red Rum and just in behind Red Rum is Halle Percy with Glen Owen and Spanish Steps and then Rag Trade and then Landlock coming to the next now and Glanford Brig drunks it in the lead from Southern Quest and Feel Free is a faller there. Feel Free has gone at that one and as they come up towards the next he's brought down two to view. It's Glanford Brig. Glanford Brig still in the lead from Southern Quest. Then comes Bo Bob on the inside. Then Lescargo. Just in behind Lescargo is Manicou Bay and then High Cannon, and then the Dickler and then Money Market and Spanish Steps. And behind them Red Rum and Kilmore Boy and then Rag Trade. Then comes Landlark and then Halle Percy as they come to the chair led by a pack of loose horses who could cause a pack of trouble here and it's Glanford Brig who jumps it in the lead from Bo Bob on the outside then Southern Quest and then Les Gargo and Manicou Bay and then the Dickler Landlark was brought down there and as they go out into the country on the second circuit it's Glanford Brig in the lead from Bo Bob, Southern Quest, High Ken Les Gargo, the Dickler Towards the outside is Red Rum cruising up towards the leaders just on his inside is Southern Quest just behind these is Les Gargo, the Dickler's there on the inside then comes Manicou Bay and Kilmore as they jump the one before Beaches, and Iken has gone. Iken's a faller at that one, and the ones behind him have just escaped the trouble. And that leaves Clanford Brig in front again from Red Rum, cruising up on the outside of Southern Quest. And these are the three leaders as they come to Beaches for the second time. Clanford Brig from Southern Quest and Red Rum. Then comes the Dickler and Les Cargo at Beaches. And Southern Quest over from Red Rum. Clanford Brig, then comes the Dickler. Les Cargo's next from Money Market, Manicou Bay, then Kilmore Boy. And Bo Bob is a faller at that one. Just the leaders race towards the canal, turn for the last time and it's Southern Quest on the outside of Glanford Brick. Red Rum is over in third, the Dickler is fourth, Les Gargo is fifth.
Spanish steps moves into sixth and after that is Money Market and Money Coupe as we rejoin John Hammer. And Red Ram in the lead from Southern Quest, Lascargo, then Glanford Brig and the Dickler. These all closely grouped and they're clear of Spanish steps and Money Market. Then comes Money Coupe and over the next Red Ram, just the leader from Southern Quest. Then comes Lascargo, the Dickler, Glanford Brig losing ground quickly. Then Spanish steps and Money Market and Money Coupe and they've got just three to jump and it's Lascargo and Red Ram, the first and second last year and Red Ram jumps in in front from Lescargo, then Southern Quest, then comes the Dickler, behind the Dickler, Spanish Steps, then Money Market, still being chased along, then Glanford Brig and Manicou Bay, but as they go across the Milling Road, it's Red Rum and Lescargo matching strides, clear of the Dickler and over to Peter O'Sullivan. Yes, it's last year's first and second, Red Rum and Lescargo, Red Rum with 12 stone, and Lescargo with 11-3 this time, Tommy Carberry on the inside of Brown Fletcher, as they come up towards the second last in the National, with the Dickler third, Spanish Steps four, Money Market five, six Southern Quest and seven Glanford Brig and eight Manicou Bay and these eight virtually the only ones left in it now as they come to the second last Les Gargo Les Gargo and Red Rum together as they come to the second last and they touch down together Red Rum and Les Gargo on the right of the picture it's Les Gargo Tommy Carberry on the left it's Red Rum trying to make national history with Brian Fletcher and he's the first under pressure Red Rum as they come to the final fence in the national in third place is Spanish steps and over the last they touch down together and Les Gargo with a the winner, Les Gargo, the winner of the 1975 National, and Red Rum has gone down fighting. What a really notable training achievement by Dan Moore. Keep this old veteran so fresh. He's a dual Gold Cup winner, and now he's done what no horse has done since Golden Miller in 1930. say something immediately I want the world to know that I'm deeply grateful to my splendid trainer Dan Moore that wonderful jockey Tommy Carberry also may I please thank our well wishes around the world in England and in Ireland and in America so far away across the sea